let's get to YouTube and welcome to the house. Not a reaction channel, but the entire set spoiler is up for Mystic Fighters over on the official Konami Yu-Gi-Oh card database. And I pulled up TCG Player because one of the most awesome things about these sets are the reprints they've given. So I have no clue what's going to be reprinted within this set, and I'm going to kind of rate the reprints and look them up on TCG Player to see if Konami did a good job value-wise, or how many printings a certain cards has, and also kind of look through to see what's higher rarity in the set. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting with the Math Mechs. Now with the Math Mechs, we do know that the very desired V-Jump promo should be imported into this set because Konami Tommy kind of gave it as an Easter egg on their YouTube, so we should expect that around here. And it looks like a lot of super rares for Mathmex because the names, yes, should be kind of silvered if it's a secret. So we see Geo Mathmex Magma as one of the first secrets, it looks like, as well, that Final Sigma appears to be secret, and their Xyz looks to be secret, along with one of their spells, Mathmex Equation. And this looks secret as well, Mathmex Super factorial so we're not seeing over here on the side anywhere the actual rarities yet they'll probably update them on the database later but we're getting our first sneak peek and kind of trying to focus in and see what is what rarity on here uh the math mechs then end with out their really, really good XCs. okay that's a little bit weird maybe it's later we see the Dragon Maids begin, and it looks like Nurse is a secret. The Dragon Form is a super. We get a Dragon Form secret over here on Nud Yarl. We see that Kitchen Dragon Maid is a secret, and then her dragon is a super. The Lore Par is a secret. Her form is a super. I wish they would have just kept it consistent, like all the maid secrets, the dragon supers, or vice versa, but okay. We see House Dragon made the fusion. I would have expected that to be a secret rare out the gate. And then we're down through... I, I'm kind of just getting more and more excited about the reprints. It looks like everything that is confirmed that we should have known is up here at the beginning. We're just finding out rarities now. Oh, uh, the goth mommy. Uh, uh, so I actually underestimated generates, and it looks like they're generators here for the TCG they do really fall on their field spell to Ghost Ogre, though, but an amazing archetype that I underestimated. Level 9's mattering, and uh, I wonder if World Legacy Monstrosity is going to be in here. We continue on, and finally... Okay, so randomly, the math mech that we are all looking for is down here at the bottom in a first sneak peek at a reprint is a Jinzo. Jinzo, that's, that's kind of interesting, but... We see two plus level four monsters. You can tribute a monster, special summon one level four math mech monster from your hand or graveyard. This is the Xyz that all the Yugi tubers were freaking out, baiting a little because you can add any spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Add a level four monster from uh, it's so many materials three materials, four materials. I get that it's generic, quote unquote, but to use that many resources for one spell or trap, it just doesn't make sense. So. Do keep that in mind that this is very, very hyped within the set, and it'll probably be one of the higher sought-after cards. Weird that it's put here. So let's go ahead and stop teasing. Let's get into some reprints, starting with Jinzo. Lone Fire Blossom. Okay, so while it has silver lettering, I really do hope it's Secret Rare is a reprint, because we've had super incarnations of the reprint, like very recently i believe even in fusion enforcers if i'm not mistaken so i hope that it is a secret instead of that just being its ori original imagery because jinzo also is a secret and sometimes whenever there's something put in a new set they just use the old art to update from the database but yeah we have the cpo7 we have an advent calendar super we have a fusion enforcer super so i am hoping for a rarity upgrade here we look at jinzo that the breeze dragon they're really focusing on past formats and oh that's a big one brother uh, brother of <laughs> i'm excited i'm sorry brotherhood of the fire fist dragon is some money 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 let, let me pull this up brotherhood there are so many freaking different brotherhoods brotherhood of the fire fist dragon was missed in our last side set where we introduced fire fist so many people have overpaid for this this is crept up to 20 dollars you do want access to one to three of these depending on the variant you're playing i hear people say that if you want a brick you play three but a lot of people do choose to play two to three of this card so you you do need one to usually combo off with 20 freaking dollars 
Thank freaking gosh we get kind of an update to that in here. All right, moving on. Oh, Tempest. Yeah, so again, the, the lettering is secret here, but this looks secret too, and it's never had a secret reprinting, so I feel like this might be secret rare within the set. It's hard to tell which of these will end up in a super or secret slot, depending on how many. Tempest is here, and... Uh, uh, oh, that's a limited mark. I was wondering if there was some kind of update. I was scared. Uh, Tempest being in here is nice. Uh, I believe it's needed a reprint for a while. Tempest Dragon Ruler. Where is he? All right, there he is. And yeah, we see that he's towards $5. And then you only have the original uh, rare as well. So two different variants. This gives us a third. Finally, I like this having peeled it off the ban list and giving it to us in a rather easy access form. Balancer Lord is in here. We get... Okay, this is a good one. True King of All Calamities actually has only one printing, and it's one that I would have suggested to buy if it was missing from the set, like, continuously. Like, this would have been the first thing on Market Watch. Like, guys, level 9s, they're increasing, they're stonks, and you also have True King of All Calamities with only its one printing. It's still relatively cheap right now, but I have a feeling these would have disappeared off market with the upcoming Gear Freed, as well as, you know, this set having the Generates. This is a necessity to have, and I would still have your copies, period, but it's good to see in here. Moving on, kind of some wacky, I guess you get a super rare stamping destruction, woohoo! Super rejuvenation! Uh, don't we already have a hollow of that super rejuve? People were freaking out about this when the ban list peeled off. I believe it's a super rare already. Yeah, in Legendary Collection, so this is definitely gonna tank down a little, but there's not the most copies of this card, so seeing it in here isn't bad. I, I would hope for an upgrade to Secret Rare instead of j just another super rare, but I, I have a feeling it'll be super rare. Uh, we see Monster Gate. Is this its first hollow form i don't i feel like there's one before monster gate i feel like there's one holographic version but i didn't like it for some reason we see ah dual saga so i typically do like dual saga rarity but it doesn't really match infernoids like my decatron is a super and i can super out a lot of the infernoid cards so seeing hopefully a super or secret rare monster gate will help it match stuff like a nunku or at least some of the cards within my deck so i'm hoping for super rare on monster gate it's really cool when you get like a, a spell that can be used long term and also dark world dealings every single version of this stays money so i would pay attention kind of like when into the void came out dark world dealings is a really nice to see in here overall because look at this every single version f almost five dollars uh we see even the commons up there towards the market price is 244 but let's look at the actual lowest for sale 274 so almost towards three dollars for commons and towards five for holographics i definitely think this is something that will start out cheap and will go up over time so just like how into the void was a dollar early on i'd pay attention to this i'd go ahead and pull your copies aside it's very infamous for going up because like all the degenerate decks that try to fdk and get spell counters on their libraries and do exodia stuff they, they like to play this card to continue on rekindling gets a holographic that's huge uh i mean okay so it was only available as i believe a turbo super and a gold rare i want to say before was it a gold yeah it was gold so you also have a dt variant so getting another hollow of this in the modern age where the spell symbol will be hollow we'll set it aside from the old turbo pack but we'll also give it to modern like players in a hollow form this peeled off the fnl list two to three so nice Oh, Dragon Ravine, another holographic. So this is the point where I'm like, you're starting to run it into the ground a little, right? With Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine has a lot of hollow printings lately. And while I'm a fan of making easy access cards, you see here, you have a secret rare in Kaiba collection. You already have a super rare in the Astral pack. Uh, and then you have the common forms. I guess it's only four copies. So it, a fifth isn't terrible, but still putting in an Astral pack and then what's the point because these are supposed to be the things that give us our hollow upgrades and then you give it a printing again it's not the worst thing in the world i i overreacted a little i thought it had one more hollow printing already but and kaiba collection semi-recent in my memory but still what's the point of putting it in an astral pack and saying hey these are kind of special and then hollowing it out again hmm uh, we see sign at back door. Uh, this is the only card I had spoiled for me because I saw Team APS's post saying I wish this was sign at mining as a reprint, but Konami's gonna use that to sell a different product later, I'm sure. Heavy Slump, I'm a fan, and, and again, Waking the Dragon also got a recent holo printing already, I believe in a tournament pack, so 
this is again a weird choice to me yeah uh, op08 very very recent super rare not like a long time ago like the dragon ravine wow that's kind of weird that they just like get it in here again like what they're kind of ruining a little bit of the point of the ots packs i feel like Heavy Slump is a card that I really freaking like. It's had its memes throughout time, and it's nice to see it actually get a hollow foil treatment. This is R&D having some fun within the office. They're getting stuff that they actually want to put in here. Appropriate's also kind of funny to see. It's an ancient card, I believe, from Pharaoh's Servant. So th these are some cool throwbacks here. We see a lot of past format support this one. Good staples that get reprints. Overall, I would rate this a good solid 8.5 out of 10 in the reprint slots. Drag sorely missed should have been in a previous set i hope some of these are bigger than they were like the breeze dragon was also a super forever go but it's more expensive so i'm more of a fan of giving a different hollow option for it after all this time but some of these do feel like odd choices. But I would say it's a solid job by Konami. They did a really good job with some of these picks. I feel like they had fun with some of them. And I'm glad to see that the Vija promo, after the scare of it not being up towards the top of the list, did make it. What do you guys think overall of the full Mystic Fighters set? Spoiler, what do you think more so of this video presentation? Also of kind of a live reaction, my true feelings out there. Uh, but seriously, like me just looking at these and being able to see like, hey, that's pretty good or wow that's weird and then having tcg player as that look to to confirm my own feelings please let me know subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like it if you enjoyed the conversation this way let me know what you think down below of this entire set and what you would like to see rarityed out among the reprints what you hope to see secret rare instead of super rare out of the reprints let me know about that and uh what are you looking forward to picking up out of Mystic Fighters? I know a lot of people after the Dragon Maids, but uh, I have my eyes kind of on Math Mechs as well as the Generates. These, uh, they make really interesting and really cool concepts within these side sets that feel almost there very often, but they're always so interesting and really well crafted in terms of like being fun to play with. So I actually do enjoy side sets like this overall, but uh, thanks for watching everybody. And if you're shopping TCG player, I got to shout this out at least once in the video. Please use my link in the description down below, costing you nothing extra when buying cards you'd already be spending and supporting the channel directly. Thank you, everybody.